started to do a review on my uh, CRF250X. It's now done 249 hours. Uh, it's on a completely stock motor, never been touched. Um, I think they're great bikes. I'd be very happy to buy another one of these again um, to do the sort of riding that I do, doing uh, more enduro style riding. Um, never seems to get hot. Like I say, it's done 249 hours, um, completely untouched. I have done things, uh, like I've replaced uh, front and rear wheel bearings, I've had the linkage bearings all done, um, had the headset bearings done. Uh, I have had a bit of rubbish go through the carburetor, which uh, I think I've got rid of now. It hasn't. Uh, it was blocking up the pilot jet. Um, but like you say, all these, all these things are just wear and tear. Like it, um, yeah, those things wear out on a bike. But but this motor has been really reliable. Um, it's never let me down. I haven't even done the, since I've owned it, and I've done 130, 138 hours on it, and it'll be two years in June. Um, I haven't even uh, checked the valve clearance, I haven't done any of that. Um, it's still just as it was. Um, yeah, but it's been a really good bike uh, for what I do. I've had the suspension all done on it, done by Inspec. I've uh, lowered it, brought the shocks through the, the forks, uh, and I've put razors on to get them to come up that far. I've had the seats scalloped, and I've also Inspec lowered the um, the rear shock 20 mil. So uh, yeah, it's really well set up for me at the moment. Like it's still running a factory exhaust. Uh, the guy before me did take the baffle out of it, so. It's opened up a little bit, but other than that, it's stock standard. Um, also run tubeless rear tyre, which I think are really good. Like I run pretty much all year, it'll be running between 3 and 4 PSI. It's a really good bike, and I'd be happy to buy another one. I guess um, so one of the good things about this bike is it is a bike that you just... Well, all I do is I hose it off and give it a bit of a scrub and, and service it every 15 hours but other than that it's actually a bike that you just push the button and away you go, it can sit in the shed for you know a month or so, push the button and away it goes but as for me it doesn't sit in the shed for a month I usually ride every week uh, so re uh, Just recently, before the last ride I actually had to replace the um, final drive seal uh, that's the second one I've done, but uh, as you see in the early part of the video, um, before I washed the bike, how much mud you get in this area, uh, it was just full of it, so um, yeah, it's not the bike's fault, it's uh, my fault for putting it in that conditions. Um, Yeah, new chain and sprocket, that's another thing that I've done. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention was that I um, have replaced the swing arm bearings too. Uh, they got done. Uh, obviously brake pads, they wear out all the time. Uh, air filter, it's had several air filters. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I'm really happy with this bike and uh, I would definitely buy another one. So. I think that's all I've got to say about it, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, catch you somewhere else on the farm.